Hello, I'm Dr. Benita Rattan. I'm a doctor, but also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of color. So today's video is an interesting one. It's 82E. A lot of you have asked me to make this video. It's Deepa Padukone's skincare line. I'm a huge fan of her. I absolutely adore her. She is you know, massive celebrity in Bollywood. She's normalized talking about mental health. And I think she's an amazing role model actually for our girls on becoming independent. And um, so I've only got great things to say about this absolutely gorgeous woman. But having said that, I'm still going to be very critical when it comes to her skincare line. As you know, none of my videos have ever been sponsored and they will never be sponsored. It's the only way that you're gonna get completely unbiased information. If you haven't got your hands on a copy of Skin Revolution, please do if you love skincare. It's available on Amazon. And you can also ask me questions on skincare on my Instagram, also on TikTok. Um, and also in our private Facebook group. I'm also in the comments section on after every YouTube video for one hour. So when you subscribe to my channel, make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I'm going to be here so you can come and ask me your own skincare questions. So that is what we're gonna do today. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, starting off with the first product, which is Bacuchial Slip. So this is an expensive product. Uh, it's 2,900 rupees, approximately 29 pounds. This is not a mass market product in India. Usually, you know, you're looking between three to six pounds for mass market. This is luxury. So the claims here is that it locks moisture into the skin, it reduces fine lines, it improves elasticity and firmness, and increases texture. So let's go through the inky list, the ingredients, and let you know whether it's going to be effective or not. So here's starting off with squalane which is excellent it's a skin conditioning emollient it's one of my favorite ingredients she's put in rubus rosa seed oil which is an antioxidant uh, there are no essential oils in this product as well which i love because essential oils can irritate the skin and i know that we've used essential oils for thousands of years and there's a lot of marketing you know promoting essential oils but essential oils come from the part of the plant that's fragranced rather than the carrier oils, which comes from the non-fragrance part of the plant. The fragrance part of the plant is a lot less. It, there's a strong aroma, and that's what leads to sensitivity, and it's a lot more expensive versus carrier oil. So there's a difference between the two types of oils. So the key ingredient here really is bakuchiol. But the thing is, bakuchiol is more of a supporting role. It's not the main role. The main role really is gonna be a, your retinol, your vitamin A. There's not enough clinical evidence to support Bakuchio right now. And I know it's a training ingredient and I know a lot of people are using it. You know, if you're pregnant or you're breastfeeding and you can't use retinol, then Bakuchio is a great other alternative. But if you really are trying to tackle fine lines and it really is bothering you, I wouldn't really waste my time with Bakuchio. I would go straight to retinol to hide, to be honest, because... Uh, Retinaldehyde works 11 times faster. Retinol, and retinol has a lot of clinical data behind it, versus Bacuchiol, which is kind of the newbie on the skincare block, uh, doesn't really have enough evidence behind it, um, doesn't have the level of credibility that I would expect, and especially for almost 30 pounds, I would expect more. So I don't mind you using this product as a barrier oil, meaning after you've done your skincare, you've done your moisturizer, and then you use this in order to trap seal water in the skin. But again, you know, you can find cheaper barrier oils such as marula oil, rosehip oil. So I'd rather use a retinol serum plus, a, you know, marula oil as your barrier oil. That's gonna be far more effective than this Bakuchio slip. But I do, I understand where she's going with it. I think she has put a lot of thought behind it, but I just don't think she understands the clinical studies behind that particular ingredient and that it is just not very strong. Okay, moving on to ashwagandha bounce, or ashwagandha bounce. Uh, this is 2,700 rupees, so approximately 27 pounds. It's essentially emollients, niacinamide is the fifth ingredient, um, so you're looking at a low percentage, probably about 2%, which is fine. Um, ashwagandha, or 
however you want to pronounce it, ashwagandha is the 10th ingredient. And so we tend to recommend that at 0.5 to 2%. So it's roughly at the correct um, percentage in this product. However, ashwagandha is just an antioxidant, but it's claiming that it treats hyperpigmentation, which isn't true. It's not a tyrosinase inhibitor. This particular product does contain sodium hyaluronic acid, which I love, plus glycerin. So it is a hydrating product, which I love, but it contains a fragrance. Come on, Vipika. So fragrance is not your friend when it comes to skincare because fragrance can lead to contact dermatitis in three to four percent of the population, and that can happen 20 years from now. It doesn't have to happen straight away. And with skin of color, which is I think predominantly who she's targeting, we can't afford to irritate our skin because if we do, it leads to hyperpigmentation and scarring, which just isn't. So skin of color really should only ever be wearing fragrance-free products, in my opinion. Plus, this product is expensive. Essentially, this is just a niacinamide antioxidant cream, which really should be in combination with other antioxidants if you want to promote that as a benefit. And it should be in an airless pump in order to, to make sure there's no oxygen around the ingredients. So for me, this is unfortunately a no. Okay, so moving on to Patchouli Glow. I think the idea and the concept was quite clever. This is a chemical sunscreen and it's fragrance-free. So you've got the fact that it's fragrance-free right, but it is only PA three pluses. That means that you're, own, you're not going to get maximum UVA protection. UVA protection, remember UVA leads to aging and cancer. So it penetrates deeper into the skin and for a lot of us you know anti-aging is one of the reasons that we're wearing the sunscreen and you're not getting maximum with this you really want to go for pa4 pluses uh, and it's only spf 40 not spf 50 meaning it's not giving you maximum protection from uvb rays either plus in order to get even the spf 40 rating you need to wear one dessert spoon of this oil sunscreen that's 0.4 ounces which is a lot it's going to make your face very oily. I don't recommend this in India, especially because in India, it really is so much humidity. Pollution can be high. The temperature is high. It's humid. You actually want to go for more gel-based products rather than oil. You actually want to go for oil-free products more. No one's going to wear enough of this sunscreen in order to even reach the rating that's on the packaging. Who's going to go around with a dessert spoon of oil on your face? I wouldn't even do that in a dry country, let alone a humid country. So this is why I prefer cream sunblocks. Again, it was a clever idea, but I don't think she took account for the climate that you're in and who you're targeting. Are people in the in the tropics really. So it's such a shame because I really, really wanted to find at least one product uh, from this range that I would recommend because I love her and I do love the fact she's coming out of her comfort zone and trying something new. I know there's a lot of hate that happens for celebrities, you know, creating skincare lines. And I don't feel that way actually. I feel that I want all of us coming out of our comfort zones and trying something new. It's not enough actually just to be good at one thing in this life. <laughs> we need to have multiple skills. You know, I want us all to be lifelong learners, all come out of our comfort zone, all try new things. Um, but understand that you are likely to fail and have to iterate, improve and try again. So as a first shot, I think she's done a decent job, but I do think there's improvements that can be made in all these three products. And again, if you have a growth mindset, you're going to take what I've said and you're going to improve and have a much better product, a much better offering second time round, which I'm hoping is what's going to happen with this video and actually all my videos. You know, when I'm critical of brands, it's because I'm so, I have very high standards for skin of color. And I'm super critical of myself and my own products. And so that's not being, uh, you know, nasty. That's really coming from love and hopefully showing where we can improve and doing that and then doing a better job for you guys. That's the aim of this whole channel. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the comment section for one hour after we launch this video and really every video. Take care. Bye.